In this video, I will be showing you how to use Finder tags with Nitro on the Mac. Nitro on Mac is able to read and write Finder tags to your files, and it also displays all of the tags that are set up in the Finder. You can see some tags on files right here. While it's straightforward for any app to read tags on a file, it's not simple to get the list of all tags that are set up on a computer. That's because getting the list of all Finder tags is not actually a feature supported by Apple. Instead, Nitro has to locate and open a hidden file that contains that information, and that file moves to a new location in almost every OS version. So, to start, you got to help Nitro find and read that file. Go to the Image menu and pick Setup Tags. The app displays this dialog, and then it's going to show an open panel. Go to your home directory by pressing Command-Shift-H. Go to the home directory because that's where Apple has hidden the file with the list of all the tags, and press Open. In many cases, however, this initial attempt will fail because the file is still not readable due to some Apple security measures. Unfortunately, the only solution at this point is for you to give Nitro temporary disk access using the System Settings app, as you can see here in the dialog. I'll show you how that works. First, go to System Settings and pick Privacy and Security. Then, go to Full Disk Access. You'll see Nitro here, and you can turn that on. The OS will give you that message so you can quit and reopen it. Then, repeat those steps. This time it reads them successfully. At this point, you can go back into System Settings and revoke full disk access. Nitro will still be able to read that file, but now won't have access to anything else. Now if you go to the Tags menu, you'll see the Finder tags are all listed, along with colors. Unfortunately, on iOS, the story is worse. That magic hidden list of tags is not available at all on iOS. So while Nitro can read and display tags, it does not have the ability to set them since it doesn't have access to the list of all tags. Here on iOS, you can see an external drive, which I set the tags on the Mac, and when you go into Nitro on iPads, you can see those tags, but you can't change them. And that's a quick tour of tagging files on Mac and iOS. Thanks for watching.